This video is going to explain how to use the drag and drop feature to add, move and remove components from your screens in your app. Um, first of all, I'd just like to mention that the drag and drop in Clipper Studio works best using Google Chrome as your browser, as you can see that I'm doing. Um, it also works in Safari, in Firefox and Internet Edge. Um, and also bear in mind that we recommend that you um, use an up to date browser. Um, for the drag and drop, first of all, if we just hover over our screen device preview here, we can see that this orange box is highlighting our editable area. This means that you can add all of your content and components within this editable area. It will also expand, you know, as you add more content, you can see the box is expanding as I'm hitting enter here. Um, to add new components, I'm going to select my image. I'm just going to drag it and drop it on the screen. So you can see that there's a green box here telling me where I can add my component. Um, if I move this around, it will highlight um, the various areas where I can drop it. But I want to have it at the top, so let's go ahead and add it here. Whenever you have added a component, it will open the settings to the right. I will select my image. You've got various other options. I will click save and close and the image will appear on my screen. So if you wanted to move anything around, any components around, um, just click on it and then drag it and drop it where you want to have it. So let's say I want to have my heading first, image second, I can do that. Um, works the same with other components that's already on the screen. So do the same with the button, just drag it and drop it. Now, let's say I wanted to remove this button because I don't actually need it. Um, if you hover over any of your components, you'll see a delete option. So just click here, press delete, and it's gone. That's basically how you add, edit, and move and delete components. Now let's move ahead to our second screen, just so I can show you how it works when you have multiple editable areas. So this is using a different layout from our first screen. This is specifically using um, this layout, which is a full width image plus text overlay. Um, because this layout is meant to be, so you always have your image at the top. Um, and this area here is a separate editable area that will actually scroll over your image. This means that you will have to edit them separately. It also means that this image is built into the component, so you don't have a delete option here. If you wanted to remove this image and not have it there, then you'd have to select a different layout. You can still tap on it to open your settings and select your image. So otherwise it works exactly the same way. In your second editable area, it works exactly the same way as in the first um, section. You can move things around. Um, and if you have um, components, you can just drag and drop them to here and move them around. Now in a third screen, I just wanted to show you how it looks when you're using multiple column layout. Um, so using multiple columns means that each column is its own editable area. As you can see, it's highlighted in, in orange here. So it means that they're all um, edited. You can edit them separately. Um, I can delete this image and this will only reflect on this one editable area. I can also add new ones. So let's say I wanted to add my image below my text. I can do that. And if you save and close, it's there. Um, that's in general how it works using different screen layouts. Um, you can't drop anything that is between here. It always has to be within the orange lines. Um, for you who are a bit more technical, um, you can still go into the developer options. You can review all of the HTML for the screen and you can actually move components and content around using the um, HTML. So let's say um, this is how you can distinguish which is um, the different sections. So this is section one, then we've got section two here. So this is our two different edgeable areas. Um, it keeps on going on this four of them on this screen. So if you wanted to move things around, let's say you wanted to move any of your components around using the HTML editor, you can highlight your widget number. So anything that starts with a widget and a number is one of your components. 
this will be our second image. So let's say I wanted to replace the first component with the second component. Um, if I highlight this and I'm going to cut and I'm going to replace it here. I'm also going to remove my P brackets because I don't need them. And then if I save and run, we can see that I've moved the images, the widgets around. So the image is now here and there's no image here anymore. So that's how you can use the HTML editor to still move components around and tidy up things on your screen.